Marketing strategies as applied to dating, guerrilla marketing. Guerrilla marketing is placing your advertisements in unusual places that may border on illegal or at least skirt the law. Most often we see these in the form of sidewalk marketing or some of the flyer marketing that goes on. So the example as applied to dating would be Brandon goes into the ladies room stalls or pays somebody to and carves into the stall door for a great time, call Brandon Wirtz, he's great in bed, and my phone number. The girl goes into the bathroom, sees the number, calls me, and we live happily ever after. As far as guerrilla marketing works, the odd place that it is often spurs interest. And so you might call the phone number written on the bathroom stall just to see who answers, not because you're actually interested in the product. Or later when you hear the name, you may remember that you just saw this thing. Generally, guerrilla marketing only works if it becomes pressworthy. Many of the campaigns where companies have graffitied sidewalks in various cities, the result was that the press covered the fact that they were served $1,500 to $5,000 in fines. Well, getting the New York Times to write an article about how you just got fined for $5,000 for guerrilla marketing, well, the advertisement in the New York Times would have cost you a lot more than the $5,000 that you just paid in fines. Plus, all of the other press organizations are going to write about it as well. So generally, the goal of guerrilla marketing is not to get the marketing through the method that you're using, but through the press that's generated around the thing that you did. So in some cases, guerrilla marketing is really about breaking the law, intentionally getting caught, and getting the press to write about it so that you get press about your product. This is horribly, horribly convoluted. It's very high risk. If it doesn't go well, you can have a huge black eye. But if you're selling a product like a video game, Grand Theft Auto, it can be huge free marketing. Whether you needed the huge free marketing may be another story because you probably had enough brand that if you thought, hey, $5,000 fine and the risk of going to jail is no big deal, then, you know, maybe it wasn't a good spend. But generally, guerrilla marketing is not about the marketing itself. It's about the fallout of the marketing.